is also busy working with Unitarians, Rosicrucians, Masons, and Socialists to create a civil war. Now, the Collins family in the 1700s branched into the Todd family, and they also branched into the Putnam Putnam families, and they also branched into the Grant family, which then branched into the Wheeler family. Now to show you that there is a connection between the, uh, uh, the Civil War and the present time period, if we look at Grant was the top military man uh, of his day, and then his in the Civil War, and then during the Vietnam era, his descendant, General Earl Grant Wheeler, was head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff in the United States. Now, General Earl Grant Wheeler was a member of the Illuminati, and he was also a member of the Collins family via the Grant Ulysses Grant bloodline. And General Earl Grant Wheeler had a brother named Ulysses Grant Wheeler, who had a son who was born on the day after the Illuminati High Climax ritual, and that son was named Leo Wheeler, and Leo Wheeler became a grandmaster in the Illuminati. Now, uh, the Vietnam War was created by the Illuminati to create a drug culture in the United States. They moved the American boys over to a country where there was for, uh, lots of a easy access to lots of drugs and got a lot of American boys hooked on drugs. But they also smuggled drugs into the United States, and the Army was in full cooperation, parts of it, uh, with the Illuminati drug smuggling. And so while you had at the head of the Army, you had General Earl Grant Wheeler and uh, his co-worker Satanists like Matt Namara helping smuggle drugs on the West Coast, then you had Illuminati Grandmaster Leo Wheeler coordinating the drug running. Now let's go back to General Grant. Ulysses Grant was, as a boy, a very uh, unkempt, unpromising boy. Uh, he wasn't very intelligent, and nobody could think of um, anything for his future. He was unpromising. But his father had connections, so he got him an appointment to West Point. The town that General Grant came from, Georgetown, had a lot of political pull behind it. There were, at the outbreak of the Civil War, four generals in the Union Army from Georgetown and one colonel. And then in the volunteer units that Lincoln raised, there were nine more generals from that little village of barely a thousand people. And all in all, you had 20 leading Union uh, officers from this little village. Now, General Grant himself, he entered the Union Army on April 23, 1861, as a private. And on August 7, 1864, he was made supreme commander over all the Union forces. And that was antedated back to May 17, 1864. So from April of 61 to May of 64, three years, he went from being a private to commander-in-chief of the entire Union Army. Later he became president. So this man who was a gutter drunk when the Civil War broke out became president, and he selected eight Masons as his cabinet, and one of the men on his cabinet was Columbus Delano of the ancient aristocratic black noble family Delano. And Franklin Delano Roosevelt is a descendant of that uh, same Delano family. And there was another man on Grant's cabinet. That was Alfonso Taft, who was the blood fourth father of Bill Clinton. And uh, Grant selected as his advisor Jonas Mills Bundy of the Bundy Illuminati family. And uh, Jonas uh, Bundy was also the advisor to the next two presidents. And uh, if we come forward in time, we'll see that McGeorge Bundy was the advisor of the uh, President Kennedy and Johnson, and Harvey Bundy, also of the Bundy Illuminati family, was head over the Manhattan Project. Now let's look at Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln's mother, Nancy Hanks, was uh, um, visiting Lincolnton, North Carolina, when she was impregnated 
by A. A. Springs. A. Springs was a descendant of the Rothschilds, and the Springs had changed their name from Springstein to ch hide their genealogy, to hide their Rothschild blood. Now, this man here, Leroy Springs, was Abraham Lincoln's half-brother, and he worked for Louis Cass Pazur, who was one of the most powerful men in the United States of his time. His descendants are still very powerful and are still unknown. He was of the Merovingian dynasty, the 13th Illuminati bloodline. <clears throat> in fact, it was the Pazur family that owned Jekyll Island, where they created the Federal Reserve. Now, uh, Abraham Lincoln uh, became the top Rosicrucian in the United States, and he was a member of the Order of the Lily, which uses the fleur de lis as its logo, which is the Merovingian logo. And he married a Todd. Remember I told you that the Todd family was a branch from the Collins family. And she conducted... Uh, rituals, seances, in the White House, which Lincoln sometimes participated in. And he, Abraham Lincoln, as president, selected as his attorney Bart Moore of the Bietti Illuminati family. And a descendant from that Bietti Illuminati family is Shirley MacLaine. Salmon P. Chase was made his secretary of treasury. Now, if you look on the 10,000 dollar bill, the highest denomination, you'll see Sam and P. Chase's uh, picture, and uh, Chase Manhattan, of which the Rockefellers are associated with, was named after Sam and P. Chase. Sam and P. Chase, while he was the secretary for Lincoln, introduced a national bank and graduated income tax for us, which is what Karl Marx had been advocating in his writing. And Lincoln's uh, cabinet uh, got involved with an Illuminati European country, a company called the Credit Mobilier, which was uh, a scamming to uh, the American people, and a scandal broke out, and the American people found out that Lincoln's cabinet had uh, scammed them out of $23 million. Now, Lincoln had, was having a sexual liaison with King Leopold's daughter, and he had a set of twins, Ella and Emily. That doesn't mean that Lincoln was necessarily promiscuous, but you will find in a lot of these high-level Illuminati families that they have a lot of secret offspring. And one last note about General Grant. He was best of friends with the Chinese uh, Lee family. General Lee of the Lee Chinese family was best of friends with General Grant, and then he in turn uh, General Lee, who was known as the Bismarck of the East, was best of friends with the German Illuminati Krupp family.